In this example, I'll show you how to express rational function in the simplest partial fraction form. So we have x squared subtract 1 divided by x plus 2 squared x plus 3. As you can see here, actually x plus 2 squared is actually repeated linear factors. So you can express as a divided by x plus 2 plus b x plus 2 square we will repeat until it reach power of 2 and then for the c we just divide by linear f factor here x plus 3 so continue to combine the right hand side into one algebra fraction Make sure the denominator is same as the one on the left side. So a we will multiply another x plus 2 and x plus 3. Plus b as we have x plus 2 squared so we multiply another x plus 3 to the b. So for C, we will multiply x plus 2 squared. So let's compare the numerator. x squared subtract 1 equals to a x plus 2 x plus 3 plus b x plus 3 plus c x plus 2 squared. We will just compare the numerator. If you can see here, we have x plus 2 with a here and x plus 2 square here with c. So when we substitute, x equals to negative 2. Obviously, this will become 0 and this will become 0 so we can find b easily. So we will substitute x equals to negative 2 into left and right hand side. Substitute into left hand side negative 2 square subtract 1 equals to when we substitute negative 2 plus 2 0 the whole thing 0 so continue with b substitute negative 2 plus 3 so the same thing negative 2 plus 2 we get 0 here so nothing left here 3 subtract 2 get 1 1 b so 4 separate 1, we have 3. So b equals to 3. So we continue. This time we substitute x equals to negative 3. If you can, as you can see here, if x equals to negative 3, x equals to negative 3, it will cancel off a and b and we can find c easily. We substitute into left and right side. So this part, negative 3 plus 3, a is gone, becomes 0. Substitute negative 3 plus 3, 0 for b. So we just substitute into c, negative 3 plus 2 squared. So if you simplify everything, you get c equals to 8. So finally, we still have to find a. To find a, maybe we can just use a simple compare coefficient method. If we expand this, actually you can see there's a x squared. So if we expand this, we have bx. So if we expand this, we have cx squared with the together with the other terms. So maybe we just consider to compare coefficient x squared. On the left side, we have one x squared. On the right side here, just now I say, if we expand, we have x squared, we have 3x, 2x, and then we have 6. But we are interested to compare x squared only, so a x squared, so we have a. Here for b, we don't have x squared. Then for c, we have 1 c x squared, right? So we have c. But we know that c actually equivalent to 8. 
So I substitute C equals 8. So A equals to 1 subtract A, so we get A equals to negative 7. So we get our A, B, and C. So we write the rational function. So our A is negative 7 divided by x plus 2 plus b, b is 3, 3 divided by x plus 2 square, and just like this, and c is 8, so we substitute here, 8 divided by x plus 3. So, we have solved this question to find or express the rational functions in the simplest partial form method.